Three, two, one. Back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like always, I appreciate swinging by and watching another beer review. I just shot a video on the uh, DeClaw Brewing Company, uh, the um, Tiramisu Imperial Stout. And now I am going to go ahead and knock out the uh, tira sorry, the Tiramisu, the uh, Cherry Bonbon, uh, Chocolate Cherry Bonbon Imperial Stout. So it's a... Uh, a double dessert beer type of night. I'm going to upload it. Two separate videos here. Um, I got a little bit left of the first one. So uh, towards the end of this video, I want to bring that back in. I want to do like a comparison. See which one I actually like a little bit better. But uh, this here is uh, another one at 8.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, the IBU, I believe it's probably a very similar to what this one was. Right around 30, um, 31. It'll be in the description down below. Uh, so get a look at this here. You got the uh, bonbons, the chocolate-covered cherries uh, right there. Screams, just screams dessert beer, just like the other one did right there. Uh, it's part of their, I believe this pastry, pastry Archie is like a, hopefully it's a series that they do. And now these are only two available in my area. I don't know much more about what they have as far as these things go. But, uh, you know, the first one was uh, pretty solid, so I'm hoping for something really well here. Uh, be sure you check that video out. It should be posted up. Uh, let's see. The side of this got some reading on it. You can look around the can there. Uh, I'm going to score this uh, artwork on this real quick. A four, and a four out of five, just like the other one. As far as the reading, uh, it says the pastry Archie. Like biting into a mouthful of chocolate-covered cherries with every sip. This Russian, or sorry, this medium-bodied Russian imperial stout brings dark chocolate up front followed by intense drippy cherry throughout excuse me a sensual 16 ounces of bliss all right so uh, i want to crack this one open and uh get right into this see what we uh got on this one here and again i paid two dollars and 89 cents uh, for this can as well as two dollars and 89 cents for that can less than three bucks for a pastry um imperial stout I think that's a pretty good price point. So we'll go ahead and get a pour on this. Looks very similar to the other one. Just a dark chocolate cover. Um, a dark, or sorry, dark chocolate color there. Now, um, honestly, it looks exactly like the other one. Uh, maybe a creamier head on this one here. Uh, about uh, almost two fingers ahead on this here. Uh, definitely a creamier head um, than what the other one poured out at. Now, this is probably at least one month fresher uh, than the other one. I don't think this is more than a couple months old here at the time of this recording. And the uh, the uh, tiramisu, I believe it was, uh, or tiramisu, I believe it was, uh, it's a few months old anyway. So this is a little bit fresher. Perhaps that's why we got a better, creamier looking head up on top of this thing. Let's get a nose on it, see what we, uh, see what we can pick up. Hmm. Okay. I really do pick up a little bit of cherry in here. Which would have been a total letdown, um, given the, the name of it, if I couldn't pick up any cherry. But yeah, there is some chocolate, uh, like a chocolate-covered cherryness to this. Uh, it does have that typical uh, imperial stout, very stout uh, aroma coming off of it. But yeah, just uh, mostly um, where the other one was more like a cocoa-y uh, coffee. This is more of a chocolatey, um, like a chocolatey uh, aroma coming off of this one here. So we'll go ahead and get a drink on and see what it offers. Full on medium body mouthfeel. Um, again, eight and a half percent alcohol, just like the uh, the tiramisu one was. I don't really pick up that much alcohol at all for for a eight and a half percent imperial style. Usually, usually me myself, um, I usually can pick up something when it's you know, 8% or higher, but it's very well masked in this, just like the other one. It 
this has a nice very nice subtle chocolate cherryness to it i mean they really did hit it with the uh chocolate covered cherry on this i'm very impressed with that actually wow You know, I haven't really uh, found my thing in um, Imperial Stouts, found my 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 lane in the type of Imperial Stouts that I like, but, you know, this is very good. I'm, I'm impressed with this. So, we definitely have the cherry there, chocolate. Maybe some mild vanilla sweetness. The other one I didn't mention sweetness in it, but yeah, when I say it tastes like chocolate, uh, you know, it or cocoa, there's obviously a sweetness there that comes along with that. But there's definitely this one definitely is a little bit sweeter than than the uh, the tiramisu or tiramisu. Just a, a nice sweetness. And the chocolate, man. The, the sorry, the chocolate covered cherries. It is really there. I'm impressed with they hit that cherry flavor. I'm impressed with that. I don't know if they really used cherries uh, during the brewing process, or this is some type of cherry flavor adding it added into it. But um, man, I am I'm impressed with this one here. The cherry actually lingers on the back half of the mouth that and it's not a tart cherry. It's not a tart cherry. Like you get you can buy some cherry bite into cherry that's just tart, like a ripe tart cherry. Or you can bite into a juicy bonbon, a juicy chocolate covered cherry that's not tart, but it's just flavor, just a lot of very flavorful cherry, a lot of flavor coming out of it. And that's what this is here. As far as scoring on this one here, so I'm I'm probably just gonna go just slightly above a four on this, and I'm I'm gonna look at maybe a four point one five on this here. I would definitely drink either one of these two anytime they're available, but uh, the uh, the cherry here. Let's get them a little bit closer here. Set that there. I'll bring this bad boy back in. So you have the tiramisu. I gave it a four out of five. This one here, I'm just over a four, 4.15 out of five, because I do believe I like them better, but. So I can tell you, I think the reason I like this one um, a little bit better is uh it's strictly the cherry i'm gonna be honest with you it is strictly i i love the way the cherry is that just that that just a light chocolate covered cherry um that i'm really enjoying on this one here so anyhow uh like subscribe comment hit the notification bell check me out on social media uh twitter instagram untapped that's my thoughts